Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Indesit condenser tumble dryer, IDCE 8450BH. It's just a tumble dryer and it seemed to be working fine. I found it on the street, tested it, did a load of laundry in it and it was getting hot and I thought everything was okay and it sounded like it was working because the motor was running. After a while I realized and I opened the door, I didn't see it spinning. Normally you see it spinning a couple of spins before it, before it slows down and stops when you open the door. It wasn't doing that and the laundry was just a big heap of really warm but like crusty on the outside damp on the inside and i took the lid off the top off and this is all in the previous video the fault finding the belt was knackered and that's okay belt's knackered get a new belt 590 i think on ebay new belt arrived today here's a part number i don't know if that's their number or what but it's a 1991 millimeter belt six six v ribs so let's open it oh this is the same one so that's pretty good i wasn't expecting genuine spares conti tech continental 6 ph e is that right 1991 so it's the right belt i hope it's not the specified belt for this model but if you search for 1991 there isn't that many out there and it was a similar model and i took a chance i, I always try to buy the cheapest one because when you're using a second-hand appliance the same with the second hand or an old car every other part in the machine is 10 years old or whatever age the thing is there's no point in getting you know the best parts you want reliable parts but don't go wasting your money on genuine spares but this case genuine spares so i've got to take the top off take the side off then loosen the other side and it should just go together quite quickly i'm hoping let's give it a go i'll just leave the camera rolling and we'll see how we go so around the back there's two screws This is tricky to get off. At least I find it tricky. You kind of pull it and lift it at the same time. Then we've got to get this one off, I think. So, screws. Four screws on the back, one at the top, and these things then sometimes just snap out, or what way does it go? Does it go backwards or forwards? In fact, I don't know that it actually matters. I think I could just leave it, leave it hanging there. I'll do the same on the other side, and then the two, the two parts should separate. What we're hoping for here is to kind of separate the front and the back. This looks like it should slide back. It's really sharp. That's it, it just slides back. It has uh, kind of tracks on the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do while I'm in here is vacuum it out get as much of the dust out. All these metal edges are bloody sharp. So gloves would be a good idea. Thank you. 
So up on top we have this bar that holds it all together. I'm gonna to have to take it off. I'm loosening it in fact, just to get, I might have to loosen the power cable. How would that go? No, I don't think I do. Do I? I have to loosen it to get the drum apart from the front seal to get slide on the new belt. But I think then, I don't have to get it around, I don't have to take off the wires because I can just slide the belt over like this. So, I think I need to disconnect this drawer on the front as well. For some reason. Two screws up here. Magnet. Oh, that one doesn't want to come out. Longer screws there. Okay, now needs a bit more of a vacuum up there. Let's close the door again and see how I can do this. the belt in here under this drawer. Through this gap here, that's it. Should just move in. Just have to lift the drum a little bit. I don't want to lift though. Stop. These wires here are giving us too much tension, so I'd better remove them. I don't want to damage them. really sharp. Be careful. Should do it. Am I stuck on here? So I'm just trying to get the belt in between here in between the drum and the tub. That makes sense. The drum and the front. Without breaking it. This is 
suspect if you've done this before, you'll know you can just do it with a heavy hand. You just pull it in, maybe like this. Just rotate the drum with the belt catching on it. I'll do it. Feels like I'm nearly there. Let's get down low and see. Let's get down low and see where we are. We're in there. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm stuck on. Probably the bearing pad for the. It's probably stuck on the bearing pad for the drum there. I thought this would be a bit easier. When you watch those two minute videos online, they uh, fill you with confidence about buying spare parts. just underneath the lip of the drum there. This is a bit confusing now. I can vacuum that out a bit better once, once before I put it back together. What are we stuck on? I think this should come forward a little bit more, but it doesn't want to. So what if, what if I do something else? Open the door, lower this guy. How is that? Does that help a bit? Maybe. See what we're getting stuck on is my issue. Put some, put some gloves on, I think, is a better idea here. where things take time. We're at this five minutes trying to get this belt in. So what I'll do is I'll unscrew the front door. I'm just trying to keep it in my hands. Three screws here. Don't know where they go. Lost one of them, have I? I think I have lost one of them. there trapped in behind one of them now oh, I don't have to fish that out it's a disaster let's put the belt on first because that's step one here where's 
that thing done. It's down in there somewhere. It's in the drum, right? So this piece of plastic here is one of the bushes that the thing rides on. It's got a click in like that. Well, I've got it open like this. I should really do a bit of vacuuming. So I will. Right, let's get this back together. I've got my new belt in, almost. There it is, that's the new belt in. Okay, let's gonna get this guy back on. Quite there yet, but this is how to sit it in and down. Well, my fingers are trapped. There we go. That's that. Right, how's that turning? Nicely. Okay. Let's put some screws back in. I don't know where that one that's got lost is. Missing screw, there it is. Ow. Ow, 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 ow.
right, it feels like I made a meal out of that. Around on this side, around on this side, I noticed that this hose came out and I think it goes in like that. I don't know what it's for, maybe pressure, but I don't know. So before, before I screw the top back together, I've got to figure out how to get this guy on. And I think it's actually a bit of a ball ache now. I think I've got to take off this cover. The one I saw, the video I saw online, it didn't have the fan on each end. It must have been a condenser, uh, a regular tumble dryer, vented. So I've got to get this guy off somehow. I need to get the belt underneath here, which is actually more of a pain than you'd think. So there's the old jockey wheel. It's got covered in bits of broken belt. So this must have been failing for a while. Let's get all that out of there. That's out, good. I didn't, jockey wheel feels okay actually, that's good. I've got to get the belt around this guy. So let's pull these cables off because they're in my way. As much as I can do to see it, the better. All right, a bit more, a bit more view, more, more old belt down there. So how do I get this out? The screwdriver is what I'd say. Broken now, not good. So this is a little cover and there's a fan in there and it should be possible and it might it might be the case that I have to take the front off again to get the belt around the fan first, but it should be possible to get the belt around that. What's it kind of catching on here? Ah, this is all caught under this board. So how does the board come off? Usually with a screw on the front, if I remember. Yeah. I thought this was an easy job. get the board off and it should it's got another screw yes two screws so the board is now loose it can swing out of the way and this clips up and out there we go okay now yeah I think really I need to flip that belt down as low as I can get it under that and then back up again it's a bit tricky so I think I need to pull the front down I've got it underneath you can't see I've separated the top here just to flick the belt into that groove pull the belt down underneath that guy work it around should be possible to hook it in there. That's it. So now I've got the belt around there and pull it back up on top. Is this right at all? It's got to go. Stuck. Is there a 
pansies. I don't think this is the right way to do it, but it does seem to be going on, so I'm going to keep at it. Ease the belt in to try and keep it in as straight a line as possible. Like it's rubber, so it has a bit of give, but not much. up onto the top. It's not trying to stretch as far. Oh dear. The fact that I've got it twisted as well doesn't help. Somebody would say, oh you should just loosen the bearing on the back and that'll do it. But where I am now. So I'm using a screwdriver now to pull it across and over. And that's it. So it's up. It's rather tight, you know, even at that. So now it's loose. That's good. Okay, so we're back on. We got the front back on. Can. What are we stuck on here? Stuck on something. doesn't want to go, so I'm going to take off this front again, do this jimmy job again. That's why you watch me, so you don't have to figure this out yourself. That's it, we're just back in, okay. I'm not really sure what was going on there. There we go. Right down the edge. There it is. Okay. the two long screws on this plastic drawer holder to get it to stay put. I don't want to close that because I want to put this circuit board back together. Twenty nine minutes so far.
Right, we're getting, uh, that's too, too premature there, Owen. Premature, Bootsy, premature. Premature, get this cover back on first and vacuum it first. So that should just kind of roll in, sit on top, snap down somehow. Is that it right? I don't believe it is, I don't know. I've broken off this piece of plastic here, so that's just that's just gone, but it doesn't feel like it's anchored properly at the back there. Nope, oh, something fell off. That's the screw. That sounds better now. Feels better. That's good. I'll screw this on again. Sit. Okay, now this thing. I'm guessing that the belt needs to go back around. So I need to make sure it's straight first, which it isn't. Now I think it's straight. Okay. What I mean is it hasn't got to twist somewhere up along the line. And somehow I've got to get it over this pulley, which I think will be fun. Thumb, thumb pinching experience. Get it in underneath it. It's quite tight even as it is, and there's no play in it. So it's not, it's not, not spring-loaded or anything. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Have to kind of work it on or something. Uh, loosening the motor, maybe, but that's. I'm still going to bear it on screws then. Take the front off again and drop it a little bit. Might do it, but then you're kind of fighting yourself. Um, where are we up to here? Get it halfway over, it'd be halfway there. Just roll it on somehow. It's kind of acting as its own brake, and it's so tight. I can't get my hands in on it. Oh, that's got my glove. No, we're not there yet. It's got the glove, but we're in. <laughs> we're in and we're on, good. Took the glove off my hand. I wouldn't want to do that without a glove. Right, let's check the tracking. There's something a bit wild going on there. Let's try and hop it across one. Seems to be off a little bit by where it was before, so let's just try moving it across. Because the drum's so big, it seems to have a great bearing on where it sits. I think 
that's better it looks like where it was before and it's lining up with the brown marks here on that pulley so wires back on can't remember any of these i presume this one goes here no it doesn't maybe up on top does this one go here if it goes that way <laughs> oh dear does that one go there that's a start right this one went up on top here somewhere they only fit in one position you see so it's not a big deal better if you can figure it out though that one will go there this one i think this one goes in here but it doesn't want to fit so that way no so maybe it goes this way there it is right i don't know why that was causing me trouble i think this one goes up here but let's see Huh, maybe that's right. What do you think? Uh, there's a cable tie up there for something. What is that for? I cut that by the looks of things. Um, these were all tucked in here, weren't they? Let's tuck them all back in there. There's your motor capacitor. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. We had an issue on a machine before where one of the wires had rubbed off the inside of the casing and it was causing damage. But there we go, right, wires back on top, sides on, and we'll give it a test. Kind of slot this in on the bottom like this and pull it forward that should be it it's a bit wobbly but it's got a kind of a tension in it so you've got four longs and a short i'm not sure the difference between them but I think it works i wonder have i forgotten something this hose has fallen off again put that back in once again down in i just push this forward and kind of clicks there This one has four shorts and one long. This one has four shorts and one long screw. Now the long screw I would say goes in the plastic because there's a plastic fitting here. Which makes sense, better grip. But I don't know why the other one side had four longs. But it did.
Right. Just to put the lid back on, I'm gonna leave that for now because I wanna see it running. Let's close the door, let's plug it in. Power's on, it should beep. I shouldn't put my hands in there. It won't beep because I haven't put the cables back on the back. That's a good test. Let's turn off the power again while I do that. This one here it should just click like that. This one here should go in like that. It won't click because there's no power's only getting to the suppressor here. It wasn't getting to the front. Turn it on. Beep. Beep. There it is. It's got some time up on the front. Um, just press go, I guess. Now it wasn't making that noise before, I don't think. Well, of course it wasn't making that noise before because it wasn't turning, so I couldn't tell. Right, it does sound like the uh this fellow here, this track is a bit bit bumped. It's got it, see it's got a it's, it doesn't that just looks like it's been there for a while though. So if this track, this track should be polished, this this polished line down here, where I'm, my finger is, but it's going over to the side here, so it looks like there's a bit of a, div, a divot here, or a high point, and there. I think that's just the way it is. I think it's not perfectly round, and it's bearing from one side to the other side of the uh, that lip there. So that is what it is. Let's try it on again. I'll tell you this, it was a lot quieter <laughs> whenever it didn't turn. Okay, to finish this off then, what have I got to do? Put this drawer back in. So to finish this off then, we'll put this drawer back in. So it has, it has these hooks on either side and lips hooks on the front as well. I've got to get them all in together. It's easy enough actually, of time. And then two screws on the back. That is that. So that took me 44 minutes according to the clock that I can see up here that you can't see. So that job took me 44 minutes. That was longer than I thought it would take. I made a few kind of, well, I would call them rookie mistakes. I didn't know where to go. I should have taken those three screws out at the bottom and I should have put it back together in the right order. I'd say you could do it in 15 minutes if you if you knew what you were doing, and this video might go from 44 minutes down to 15 when I edit it. What can I say? It's a lot noisier now that the drum doesn't turn, or that the drum does turn. So, so what can I say? It's a lot noisier now that the drum turns, but it is a working machine. So I'm happy with that. It was free from the street, cost me 5 dollars for a belt, and we're back on the road. I don't sell machines, typically. I tend to try and give them to friends, and I'm kind of running out of friends to give machines to, because there's machines everywhere now that people... As many people as I know have these machines now, I think. But there you go. You tell me about your experience or ask any questions in the comments below. You can become a member of this channel by joining. There's a join button somewhere there or along the side, depending on what format you're watching this from. You can join the channel for just a quid or more every month if you want to support the channel. That would be appreciated. Otherwise, just subscribe and hit the bell icon. You'll get the videos in due course. Members get them first. What I normally say, questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.